You know, there is a concerning amount of bald people that go to the gym, and it's kind of bad. Like, we need to really start looking into repopulating this. Hey, what's going on everybody hope you're having a great week and if not i hope today gets better before i begin into this video i just want to say thank you to everyone who's been watching my last video commenting sharing subscribing to my channel that's really been awesome to see i think right now i'm currently at like 42 subscribers and i think my last video i just posted was up to like almost 90 views so let's hopefully get it up to 100 and that'd be really sick all in all, I had a pretty good week. I would say I've had a couple instances that kind of led me to recording this video today and talking about the subject at hand, which is the importance of remaining silent. I do think that there are really more important times to remain silent, especially when you know that there's conflict that could be involved. I try to live my life avoiding as much conflict as I can, but how life is, sometimes it's just unavoidable. Now granted, this isn't something that I've like mastered in any sort of way. I'm still practicing this day after day, learning to hold my tongue and just not react to situations when I feel like I should just not react. But in this video, I made another three-part questionnaire that I asked myself when I realized that th there was an importance of remaining silent. One, does this really need any attention? Two, how do I react? And three, what if I'm right? So like in my last video, I'm gonna go ahead and break down those questions and hopefully anything that I broke down might be of use to you that you know was in some use to me. So starting off with question one, does this really need any attention? A lot of the times I see a lot of people argue and hell, even myself included to some extent, tend to argue just for the sake of arguing without really understanding that the situation never needed an argument or needed any sort of heat at all. And I think it's really important for people to really break down the situation at hand, even if in an uncomfortable situation, well actually no, especially in an uncomfortable situation, you really need to break down the situation at hand and realize, is this something that needs any kind of heated attention? Is this something that I could avoid any kind of conflict in when I'm talking with this person about this? Because at the end of the day, I think it's really important to try to find some sort of common ground without really making the other person feel or you know, act stupid. And I think when you're talking with people in a very uncomfortable conversation, it's really important to protect your mental state as well. A lot of the times people will tend to veer off in a conversation that isn't even related to what you were just talking about in order to make you feel or, uh, you know, to take you off of the heat that they know that they're wrong. I sometimes see people tend to argue and have a conversation without really understanding where the conversation's even going. And they tend to talk about one thing and then bring in all this other stuff added to it and honestly that can be extremely toxic it's just in a person in general but around you if you're dealing with somebody when you're trying to have a normal conversation with them and they always have to bring it into a whole other conversation about themselves i think it's best idea just to ditch this person altogether. sometimes i also will see people arguing and not realize who they're arguing with now, granted, this could be said for all things like, you know, your boss or a friend, a family member, whoever. But I really think it's important to realize who you're arguing with, because at the end of the day, if this person doesn't have the knowledge that you do, the understandings that you do, or haven't been really in your shoes personally, then their opinion and way they think really shouldn't matter and really shouldn't be shouldn't be an influence to your situation and in your lifestyle. So all that leads me into my second question. How do I even react? In most situations, we seem to feed off the same energy as, that the other person is giving us without realizing and having a rational conversation that can avoid all the conflict. So let me go ahead and give you a hand demonstration here. Say these are two people having a conversation talking, right? And let's say the conversation kind of gets a little unpleasant, right? So this person here is gonna get a little heightened up. They're gonna start getting a little aggressive. Instead of getting up to their level, try to actually go down from their level because trying to draw back people from getting angry is really the best thing to try to remove all conflict as possible now granted like myself some people just have anger issues and they really need to work through that i 
really had to work through a lot of my anger issues and really try to uh, make importance on listening to what the person is saying and not reacting to something that I feel like I should just be having a normal, simple conversation in. You know, granted before, like I said, I'm human, but you know, I really try to practice this every day as much as possible. And so far it's been a big improvement in my life. I know it's kind of like a cheesy saying, but being the bigger person honestly is like a very serious quote, you know, because at the end of the day, if someone you're having a conversation with, if it starts going into ignorance, it's just best to just leave them be and go do what you want to do. Because there's really no sense of arguing just to argue. And in reality, all arguments should have some sort of common ground and understanding or at least come to some sort of common ground of an understanding without again like i've said many times resulting into some sort of conflict and if you do have to walk away in some situations just say your piece let it be known and just walk away because at the end of the day it's best not to play in someone's ignorance and just move on so on to my third question what if i'm right and what if i'm wrong I think the hard truth that everyone has to swallow is that in some form or way, everyone feels that they're right in their own story. They don't need any advice. They don't need your help. They don't need you to tell them what they're doing is wrong or right or etc. But in most situations, if I find that I'm in the wrong, I try not to react and I try to listen as much as I possibly can and, and really observe all point of views in the situation, not just my own. And I really tend to ask myself a couple of things of, did I do anything to deserve this treatment from this person did i react irrational in this situation can i do anything to help fix this situation and can i just apologize and honestly do not be afraid to apologize i don't think that in obviously today's terms it makes you weak i think it really makes you more strong and more mature than the other person if you're willing to apologize for your own wrongs and not really try to approach it like you have all the answers figured out and you know you're right and if they don't accept your apology i mean don't be afraid to just you know apologize and then move on because at the end of the day it's better to apologize and then not accept it than not apologize at all at least it shows that you have some sort of caring and understanding of the situation however if you, even if you are in the right depending on the situation just remain silent and just let the person feel how they want to feel in the end if they know that they're in the wrong Hopefully, they'll be in the same mindset and understanding you are that they can approach you and have a better apology. And hopefully, you guys can, you know, grow and move on from there. And if you know you're right and the person tends to still act kind of ignorant, just remain silent. Because at the end of the day, it's not worth feeding into the toxicity or the ignorance of this person. Let them feel what they want to feel and let them think what they want to think. Move on. You know you're right. That's all you need to know. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here but again I just want to say thank you to, for all the love on my last video and all the new subscribers that I got from that thank you guys and if you are new to this video or my channel in general and you haven't subscribed already please do so it will only make me feel more blessed also let me know in the comments down below what kind of video you guys want me to make next I I really want to start getting more feedback and from my subscribers to understand kind of what they want to see and what they would like me to talk about and if you have any questions comments or concerns you can always hit me up in my instagram which is i'll have the link in there below there and you can also hit me up in the comments down below so i mean let's start communicating more let's have a proper understanding of each other you see what i did there but thank you guys for watching this video again and i hope i will see you on the next one later y'all